Let's go see Abigail. Known. Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only Are you talking to me case. now? Well, no. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. I feel bad for them all. Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. Hmm. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said... It was pride or something? Well, Ma was wrong about that. It, it kind of... All of this is... Making the, the story of Red Dead 1 more powerful, I think, as well. And I, I don't know, Pa. Means more. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh... W what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Easy. Strawberry. No John without Arthur. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That's enough for now. Back in Strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Damn it. Come on, there you go. I tried to go around there so I didn't crash into the other wagon. Then I ended up crashing into the bloody barrel. <laughs> All right. 
Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Hello. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Jack doesn't want all of this. Hi. I'm here to... Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Damn it, Abigail. I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. See you later, Hammer. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. It's not okay. important. Let's get out of here. It's pretty important. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yep. Sounds like Lady Gabriella's making money on the side. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh... I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. John just instinctively knows stuff, doesn't he? He's he's been in the game Look, too long. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh sure. See so you looking at? Alright, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hey -ya! Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Oh, what a Is scumbag! No, no, I want to seem like no, we're away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. He is definitely dodgy. Wrong, Nothing. This is weird being on the other side of this kind of mission. That music. Yep. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. Driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. 
this is not good. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but... He was trying to rob... You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! See, I want to know what happened. Uh, we, we didn't get to see any of that. It's okay. You're okay. What? Who Why? is it we killed? What? Who's his brother? Okay. It's okay. I'm confused. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Those men! I told you not to look, boy. You always gotta take shortcuts. Yep. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa! Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Not kidding, an eventful trip. How was the? What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. 
It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. No. I just want them to have a farm and have a life. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Wow, okay. Sadie. Sadie's still sticking around, eh? So this is, here's our first contact from someone back from back in the day. This is kind of uh, strange. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Ah, well, that was, um... 
That was unexpected. I didn't think she would uh, send him a Dear John letter. <laughs> huh. It's pretty sad. Poor John. He just tries to do the right thing. But he just can't. And now I'm guessing this is a thing where we're going to be left to our own devices to do the work that we've learned to do throughout the rest of the time. Why are we, uh, why are we using this post? <laughs> there was already a post there, shoot. Good job, John. Working hard. Certainly, um, putting in the graft. This is where he's, uh, learning, I guess. A few months later. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Up to the Geddes house. Need a shave and a haircut. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. John's got quite the beard I've... now. Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Hmm. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> Good going, John.
That was some weird artifacting. That kind of ruined the moment. But there it is. He's got his outfit on. Adam's face. <laughs> Did I, I? I mean. So we can either talk to Sadie or we can talk to Ansel Atherton. Um, who should we go see first? That smile, that damned smile. <laughs> I, I. I couldn't help it. The the music, just the way that he got the way that he got the um <laughs> No, we got some other great music. I've really enjoyed the epilogue so far, I've gotta say. That was a great moment. I don't know whether that uh, effect was meant to be like that, with the, like the blurry kind of effect. It was only for that scene. Maybe it was meant to be like that. But when when he got each item of clothing out, I didn't even realize I was smiling. Honestly, I guess I was. But when he got each item of clothing out and then put it on and walked out the door with the music and everything, that was that was a great moment. This, the, to me, the game has just gotten better and better and better. I've said this a few times now. The first three chapters just, I just, it, it just didn't do anything for me at all. I wish we'd gotten to the events of the end of chapter three a bit quicker. But since then, every chapter to me has just gotten better and better. Power of video games, indeed. Desert road, desert plain. I have seen and although, you know, because I played Red Dead 1 sort of eight years too late, really, to be totally wowed by it, I still enjoyed it and I still enjoyed the story to it. And, uh, like, I still thought, I think John was the best part about the game. And. Yeah, to to see him put on his his original outfit again in this game after everything that we've been through. Um, uh, it was it was a nice moment. Good job, game. Very good job, game. Rip. Rip animal. So it looks like we're gonna be um, going to Blackwater soon. Back to the place where we kind of go towards the end of Red Dead One. But we'll go see Sadie first. She's been waiting a while. <laughs> Did that, um, did that, like, weird, blurry, artifacting effect type thing happen for other people? When, when John came out of the house? Or was that just unique to my game just then? Like, it, it, it seemed so random. It felt like it was intentional. 
but I didn't. I don't get it. It did not on my one X. Perfect timing for this song. Doing okay, girl. And that's where the mission officially ends. Oh, there's a stranger as well. Welcome. It's not exactly uh, his outfit from Red Dead 1, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing, but... Uh, close enough. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she telling it? Probably the biggest smile I've had in this entire game. Peace. I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? <laughs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! Huh. On Marston! She mean! It's good to see you! <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You. you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Uh, sort of. Oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What would he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Huh. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Interesting. Now we're on the opposite side of it, being the bounty you said you hunter. Had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Uh, oh, Micah? rip! So. I heard someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Hmm. Back with Sadie. If Mike is back, I, I mean, that is a big unresolved thing in this game so far. Micah is still around. He needs to exit out of existence. What's it to be? Oh, all right, see what you can find. Like I said, the feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker. Bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. So we're doing the whole bounty hunter thing now. Ah, huh. nobody here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? 
Kirk? Kirk. No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Welcome Center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. <laughs> His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Government business, eh? Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a f oh, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! That's Nathan Kirk! So oh. Got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Come on, jump on! Yeah! Jump and onto the horse! Lot, I know. Good job, Sadie, on that one, by the way. Good, uh, good catch. Come on, Mr. Kirk. Leave me alone. Come peaceably. These things have to happen. Bag. They were innocent sheep it's that you wanted us to run over. To no Come on, Kirk. Oh, it's your horse out of cuff, is it? Oh, what a shame. For that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a is a desperate woman. How, how are you buried, sir? None of your business. What I am. She made me do it. You hey. coming along? Now? Ah, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. 
I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. So, Sadie's a bounty hunter now. Gainful employment indeed. So... I do want to do that mission at least. I'm not too fussed about the others. Maybe we could do a Hamish mission. Maybe we'll get a nice uh, bit of chat with about Arthur. That would be nice. All right, let's go to Blackwater. Where is Barber? That's where I want to go. I think what we'll probably do is uh, take a little ride to Blackwater, get a shave, and uh, then l leave it at that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, today's stream's going to be shorter than the full six hours. <laughs> I forgot to mention that one earlier on. trickier than it should have been um, so yeah I'm thinking we've done enough now that from everything that I understand we'll probably get the game finished on Wednesday like I don't think we were gonna get both the epilogues finished uh, today anyway so we'll probably get both of them finished by Wednesday on Wednesday and even if it takes longer than the four hours for Wednesday's stream, I'm probably just going to continue anyway. Oh no! Oh no, what happened to these guys? Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's got arrows in him as well! Yes, Missy. Oh, no. oh, I shouldn't have looted her. Why did I loot? Minus. Minus, uh... Minus honor on that one. Look at all these arrows. I guess I can't do anything more with these. What the hell? Skip, go on. Yeah. You're a good filly. like the um, Native Americans have been up to no good. I'm assuming since it's arrows. Alright, Blackwater? Haven't actually been in Blackwater? Huh. 
<laughs> Interesting. I haven't been here since the end of Red Dead 1. I'm kind of excited to go and explore the places in on the Red Dead 1 map. Hi there, come on in. Um, Nissi Jack with the 12 months in a row, you, you did that ages ago. I'm sorry I missed it. Thank you for the 12 months, man. Sort our hair as well. How is John's hair in? Isn't it longer? In Red Dead 1. I think I need to uh, keep growing out his hair a little bit. I'm not going to trim it. That's good enough for now. Getting closer to his old self. Come on, lady. Well, black water. Here we are. Been a long time. Slow down. It is very quiet for a miserable race like me. Watch yourself. I will you to death. Do you understand me? Yep. Don't have to be mine. Just enough to keep me breathing. Huh? Please. <laughs> Go get a hot meal, all right? Yeah, this is for you. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, career. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless job. Nah. Pretty sad. He gave me something for that. <laughs> it's kind of weird seeing it a few years before we actually see it. There's buildings getting created still. It's just a little bit less full on. But Blackwater seems... Like, nothing in comparison to, uh, in comparison to San Denis. Now we've experienced San Denis. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. I haven't done a bounty in this game. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them. Hello there. If you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive. But sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Okay, dokey. We might do that. They're having an argument. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, get clear. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. I, I went the wrong way. I got. <laughs> I 
I, I got I got mixed up. I got mixed up with my left and right. <laughs> Wait. Why do I have all of Arthur's weapons? You really need that piece on display? Oh, what a scumbag! Oh, I do. Oh, that's cool. I still got all the stuff that I that I had previously. Still want a Mauser though. Let's see, I didn't need to put a marker for that really. I'm guessing I'm not going to have the saddle. Hey, good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Oh no, I haven't upgraded. Oh, so I've got my upgraded. Have I got everything? Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. You have this item equipped. All right, okay. All right. I have eighteen dollars to my name, so it's not as if I can buy a new horse or anything. Oh, Jesus, not for that much either. Okay. Rachel is already uh, upgraded to the same level as Hello, as um, your majesty. <laughs> I'm still still salty about senpai. The Murphy brood ruined robbed me of of an emotional moment at the end of the game and I'm disappointed with it. All right, so I guess tell you what, I'll save it here, and then we'll pick this up in the next uh, the next stream. But I'm enjoying the epilogue. I've got to say, I might do a, a you know take a, a little bit longer than I thought with the epilogue, uh, and just kind of spend a bit of time doing some of the side missions. Maybe do a bounty hunter or something. I'm kind of enjoying playing as John, and you know, there's still. Still some things to do, and obviously we've got the entire Red Dead 1 map to have a look at. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in Blackwater. I forgot. I totally forgot where I was for a second there. <laughs> All right, girl. All right, girl. What have we got to do? Uh, Ansel Atherton. Bounty hunting. I do want to do that um, Charles mission to see how how these are treated when you're somebody else. Let's go see uh, Mr. Atherton. But yeah, I have I have really been in like I don't know, it was just something that I noticed after the end of the the previous stream. Either. We did the epilogue. Um, I just really noticed that I enjoyed playing as John so much. I don't know. There's just something about him. I mean, I, I liked I, Arthur as a character and everything, but there's just something about John that. Hello oh, excuse there. me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm enjoying I'm the epilogue. Mr. Getty's over at Prom a lot. Ranch. Again, it, oh, it feels to me it's getting better and better. Yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. 
I've said this that each chapter seems to be. He gets such a huge boost from. <laughs> each chapter seems to be better than the last, and it just seems to continue. One alone, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump. I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Hmm. He seemed personable. All right, we're going up to Beach's Hope. Uh, yes. That mediocre streamer with the 200 bits, you had a plan, you just need money. <laughs> and uh, that mediocre misses with the 500 bits. Have a few more bits from the both of us. Have fun with your rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin' too. <laughs> Happy belated birthday also, yeehaw. Thank you guys so much. Oops. You can keep me out of this. Thank you, Carlson Ruckus. Thank you guys for the bits. So, off to Beach's Hope. Beautiful. The game is beautiful. You didn't even ask for your credit score. <laughs> I'm just a blind old fool. Don't be like me. Hi there. Be a wise man. Be a fool for love. Help a blind man. Have this. You have learned the most important lesson of all. That only one thing matters. And all else is lies. All right, mister. I, I keep... I, I totally, um... I totally forgot that I'm not Arthur and I don't have thousands in the bank and I can just do with my money what I want. I have $17. I am not rich anymore. I didn't have to worry about money at all during the, uh, during the main game after that bank robbery. We got him now! Go! Uh oh. Oh no! Horse! Lancaster, that would do. Go, 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 go. We're gonna make this another Skinner massacre! 
Where the hell are these guys? No. I'm gonna die. I need to get in cover. Oh my god. No! Oh. I thought I would do I was thought, damn it. I thought I was going to be able to survive that. I should have How did I not kill him? I should have I should have survived that. I should have been able to kill him and I didn't and I, I God damn it. Scumbags. <laughs> get alone, get shot. Story as old as time itself. Scumbags. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this. No. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. I gave them money, they peacefully left. I'm not giving them money. I got no money to give them. <laughs> that looks very different to, to the first game. <laughs> Gets loan, buys farmhouse, shoots farmhouse. <laughs> Man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking.
Yay, good job, John. Well, it is you. Well, I never, I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uh, of course. Oh, very same. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. <laughs> Good old lumbago. I'm ready, Marst. Follow me. Off we go to Beach's Hope with Mr. Lumbago. <laughs> Happy 30th it's birthday, right, Bruffy. Time's going so fast. It feels like only a few days ago since we celebrated your 29th. Ain't you a man of few words? <laughs> I can see we're headed west. <laughs> Thank you, Jurgen. Monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Called oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. What are you doing?! It is a bit of a dump at the moment. Whoa. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Good job, Uncle. As productive as ever. Epilogue Part 2, Beaches Hope. 